Hey, hey, section six, be selfless. Now, this is something that's very important in a relationship because we naturally are selfish. We want for ourselves. I mean, when you think about when you were a child or if you're ever around a child, a lot of times children do not care. It's the last piece of pizza. It's the last cracker. It's the last toy. Give me, give me, give me, give me. That is mine, I want it. You take it, they're screaming, crying, they're rolling, temper tantrum. We are selfish as human beings. But in a relationship, you have to learn to be selfless. You have to be selfless. I was thinking last night, I was like, man, every night when we lie down to go to sleep, my wife, we sleep facing opposite directions. Some people think that that means you don't have love. No, I think that may actually help you last longer. So it's just the way our body is comfortable. I sleep facing her sometimes. She sleeps facing me sometimes, you know, until you find your comfort. And but what I will do is I will roll towards her. And while she's lying, trying to go to sleep, I just stretch my hand out and I take one hand and I'm just massaging her back like this with my five fingers, I'm massaging her back. And then I'll take my thumb and I'll just massage her back, massage her back, and then I'll rub her back. Now, I am a touchy person. I'm a Philly touchy person. My mom used to say that growing up because I would even sit beside my mom and when she started to put on some weight, she had some meaty arms and I would sit there and just squeeze on her arm, squeeze on the back of her arm. So maybe for me, it's a sensory thing but I sit and I rub my wife's back. And, and it could be as much for me as it is for her. But imagine the touch and the feel of love. If she does that to me, when she touches me, when she massages my scalp, scratches my head, rubs my back, I mean, I get the chills. I'm like, ooh, ooh, wow. Because it represents love. Physical touch, according to Dr. Gary Chapman, is one of the love languages. So when you think about being selfless, it means that you are going out of your way. You're going out of your way to serve your partner. Now, you don't be completely selfless before marriage. So selfless does not mean sex before marriage. Selfless does not mean you're cooking dinner every day for a boyfriend. Selfless does not mean you're paying all of your girlfriend's bills. Now, in marriage, you become one. And now you have to be completely selfless. But here's the thing that I want you to understand about being selfless. Don't just do what you're asked to do. Do also things before being asked without being prompted. Do what you know they need from you or would want from you before they even ask you. And that is when you really shift to a space of how can I serve my spouse? How can I serve them? What can I do with them? What will put a smile on their face? and be selfless. Stop being selfish and be selfless. Hey, we'll talk soon.